Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in here on Raw Stature Reviews. Today it's for a classic piece. This of course is the original Superman premium format figure by Sideshow Collectibles. This is the exclusive edition limited to 2500 pieces. This is a pretty high number, 2300 and something. And I'm not sure how large the collector's edition was, potentially 4,000 or even 5,000 maybe. So this was part of the original trinity. Um, Batman, Wonder Woman and Superman were made here as original PFs. There are also some original other Justice League members like Green Lantern. Um, I think that's it. They never made a Flash, so Flash came only out just recently as a premium format. And I think we are still waiting for a um, Cyborg. And of course there was an Aquaman. There's uh, a OG Aquaman premium format, which you will also find a review of together with the classic Batman on my channel. And well, so I think it's a really, really cool piece. Of course, it's heavy mixed media, so the whole suit is fabric. Um, the cape is a very, very heavy piece of polystone, um, which is the biggest problem here with the piece. So mine's still really fine, but um, there were a lot of leaning problems with this guy, because the cape is dragging this guy um, to lean to the back. Um, so it's it's really, really very, very heavy. And um, you can play around a little bit with the base, so you can put some um, gliders down there to balance it out a little bit better. Um, but if you are in a hot environment, for example, um, where the polystone of the figure itself gets a little bit more flexible, then you may really have issues with the cape. So I saw pictures where this guy was really um, 90 degrees leaning to the back. Um, just from the weight of the cape. So um, you need to be careful and uh, maybe it's also possible to somehow um, put something below the cape in order to balance it a little bit out. Um, so this guy here is most of the time in storage. Um, I have no final place for him so if I will display him for a longer time I will see that I find a solution for that. I'm not sure whether I keep him or not. Um, we'll decide this within the next couple of weeks. So let's start off with the base first. Um, very nice Fortress of Solitude base theme here. Um, nice colors to it. Um, some good mix of whites and this light blue. Um, would have been cool if this um, would have been somehow translucent or something like that to give it more the um, impression here of some kind of ice crystal things. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, uh, it's a cool base. Doesn't take away from the figure at all. Um, works very well together with Superman, I would say. So pretty nice overall. Then um, the boots are sculpted. Nice shading on them, um, not too much going on. I really like the colors, very good. Focus in there, um, very nice. Oh, here we go. So, very nice red colors. Um, you see kind of black shading here in the in the folds here of the boot. Um, not too shiny, but also not too matte. Um, so really, really good. And of course, this all is fabric here, and um, it's a nice fabric, very smooth material, um, very nice blue. So this is Superman's blue, no doubt about that. Um, you see the muscle definition below it. It could be a little bit more um, defined um, in my view, but still, you can you can see the muscles very nicely shining through. Then his um, panties here, well, classic of course from the comics. Uh, look a bit like 
red granny panties. Um, that is nice um, leathery style material. Looks good. And then moving up, the S is well done. It's also some kind of rubbery plastic material um, stitched here on the fabric. The armpits are a little bit disturbing, maybe. Could have been done better. Um, nice muscles here on the arms. Very cool. And the hands are sculpted. They look really, really good. I mean, you can see all the veins coming through here. Bit of an older Superman. Um, you can see the wrinkles there in the skin. Um, so I think they are really well done. This guy is already older. At least telling here from the Um, yeah, from the way the hands are formed, very cool. And then the cape is, of course, um, it's a highlight. It's uh, also a problem, but it's definitely a highlight. And very, very nice. Uh, the sculpted here, I'm flying to Superman's left side, as you can see. No S on the back. Um, that's a pity, I would say. So the cape should have an S on the back, it's the traditional way um, Superman's cape is normally. Um, so that's a fail, I would say. And then this portrait here looking into the air. Um, very, very nice portrait here of Superman, really well sculpted. Looks awesome. The hair looks good. Looks very good from the front, from the back. It could have been a bit better sculpted. Um, so, more hair strains or something like that. These look good. Um, but I really like this face. Having said that, I would never display him like this um, because this one is really X or Fay for me at least. Um, the X portrait is a Um, glowing heat vision eye portrait, which I will show you in a second now. So, I'll give you the full picture of this guy again. Let's do a 360. So you can see that he is he's still pretty straight up. Um, I think it's starting to lean a little bit already. I need to be careful there. Um, so overall, even if you have the collector's edition and you are looking for a classic Superman statue, this is a really, really cool piece. So I can still recommend it to you, although you have a lot of newer options, of course. The new Superman PF, for example, here from Sideshow, then you have the new 52 in collaboration with Prime 1 as a 1-4 scale piece. Um, I think there should be a couple of others as well out there that I can't remember now, but if you want a classic Superman, this is the way to go, definitely. Okay guys, so let's check out the other portrait, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back with the exclusive, this is the Heat Vision hat, and as I said, I think this looks so fantastic here for this pose. Um, so with the two fists that he's making here, and this nice... Uh, very stoic and also very um, determined pose here. Um, this fits these heat vision eyes so, so good. Um, he's looking straight to you, not up to in the air, um, which I think is just fantastic. So let's get this portrait a bit closer here so that you can see how good it is. Um, very, very cool determined face. Um, you've got two plastic little um, yeah, heat vision eyes that you can place into his um, eye holes. So these little two things are separate pieces that you can place in there. And there's a further alternative um, that I will show you in a second um, where you can have 
like um, yeah um, so real heat vision eyes um, where you can see the flames already coming out of the of the eyes um, pretty pretty cool pretty neat um, so that's the side view here of this the hair is completely identical to the other head sculpt um, yeah so this is really a nice exclusive so if you want to get the statue I would definitely recommend to you that you look for an exclusive version so let's check out the other constellation and then we'll be closing this video out all right so this is the last option that you have so the heat vision head and then these flames here coming out of his eyes um, I think it looks okay I don't like it too much to be honest um, I like the normal heat vision um, eyes better because this looks a little bit plasticky so um, on the video it looks better than in person I have to say um, in real life it looks um, as I said, a bit plasticky. The effect is, is pretty cool, but um, yeah. So you can really see that this um, is looking a little bit unreal. Nevertheless, a cool option for collectors to be able to display him like this. And um, yeah, I think if you have the exclusive version, you have overall couple of nice options here to display this guy so as I said if you're looking for a classic Superman statue then you will be very happy with this one and um, yeah so I hope I could show you all the nice details here of this statue and maybe I could raise your interest in this guy and you're picking it up on the aftermarket he's long sold out of course on Sideshow's website um, this piece is probably five years old or something like that I also picked him up from the aftermarket a couple of years ago and yeah so seeing him again here in person I have to say he's pretty impressive so I think I will keep him so thanks again for watching guys um, please like comment and subscribe and I'll be back with another video on this channel very soon. Thanks again and bye bye.